Talking heads just love spouting crazy hypotheses about LeBron James's future. How much longer can he happily carry the decaying corpse of Dwayne Wade? Will he solidify his legacy in South Beach or flee to the industrialized mecca of Cleveland? And how much of LeBron is human and how much is robot? NBA 2K14 takes a stab at creating a twisted reality that answers every one of these questions. Yes, even the robot one. It is the stuff of legends, where legacies are created and history is made. The season of sweat and toil, nearly a prelude, a dress rehearsal for the ultimate challenge, where echoes of past triumphs still linger. For those who dare to reach for greatness, destiny awaits. This is the NBA Playoffs. Remember when you recreated Michael Jordan's finest moments in NBA 2K11? Well, the days of reliving the past are over. Now we must look to the future. In NBA 2K14, you embody LeBron in one of two separate timelines. One that's sane and reasonable, the other one completely nuts. Needless to say, we chose the less rational path, and we're witness to a career that NBA scribes will compose poems for for generations to come. Everything starts out in Miami. LeBron once again joins forces with Bosch and Wade, two players all too happy to ride the coattails of the NBA's best player. It's after winning his third consecutive championship that things take a turn for the surreal. Though he may or may not have held a second decision on ESPN Ocho, he leaves Miami for New York. Of course, the Knicks weren't about to team up LeBron with an underachieving small forward. Carmelo Anthony was shipped out of town, and Mrs. Mello must try to further her film career elsewhere. No LeBron team is complete without a Big 3. Sloppily dubbed the Big Apple Big 3, James teams up with Chris Paul and Dwight Howard. Finally, CP3 has a chance at getting out of the first round. Good for him. No, the big story here isn't the Celtics and the Knicks so much as it is the debut of the Big Apple Big 3. <laughs> Dwight, CP3, and of course, King James back for his second season with the Knicks. You know, really, Clark, it's just an amazing collection of talent that they have here. It's strange seeing LeBron don the orange and blue of a franchise that hasn't won in 40 years. But as is his want, the king nabs another ring. Fancy that! With four rings, he's now tied with Tim Duncan on the all-time leaderboards and only seven behind Bill Russell. But LeBron is a restless soul. Not content to own the city that God forgot, he returns home. Dan Gilbert welcomes his high-priced servant back with open arms and the city of perpetual suffering sweeps up the ashes of burned jerseys to cheer on their prodigal son. A few years in the future, Kyrie Irving has become Kevin Johnson 2.0, only without the mayoral diplomacy, and Josh Smith has wormed his way out of the cash-starved Detroit. In this fictional universe, there are storylines to follow along with. There's a new punk who calls himself King John and enjoys mouthing off about LeBron in the media. Shut him up on the court with your dazzling skills, or just sick meta artest world Ron piece on him. Oh, and don't sleep on those pacers. Paul George has elevated his game so high that even LeBron has to look up to him. Considering how crazy things already are in the NBA, the scenario 2K games constructed might be more plausible than we realize. Check out how the future unfolds with 2K14 hits in October, and keep tags to see how closely their vision aligns with reality. Here we go, the Bulls fast. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? That was a power yes, punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. Putting on a show for these people. I cannot believe he pulled that one out. <laughs>